What is up you guys, it's Thomas here and today we're going to be talking about the absolute best free apps to learn coding on your iPad and your iPhone in 2021 and moving onwards. So these apps are all 100% free. Some of them do contain some paid premium features, but you don't need them. And they have all helped me to be able to write full apps in multiple different languages with custom animations and all kinds of stuff like that. So I definitely recommend them. But guys, before we discuss these free apps to learn coding, I'd really appreciate it if you smash that subscribe button and that like button to get all kinds of awesome new tech videos for me whenever I post them. Anyway, let's get right into the first app. All right, you guys, so the first great app to learn coding for free is called Swift Playgrounds, which is created by Apple and is a great free app to learn coding on your iPad. So Swift Playgrounds comes with a lot of different lessons that will teach absolute beginners the basics of programming. It will actually get you into the mindset that a computer program is a set of instructions or like a recipe that effectively executes commands and modifies information. And the way it does this is really fun. So actually you play a series of puzzle games that are built into Swift Playgrounds and you write code to beat each of these puzzles. Now there are lots of different levels and another cool thing I love about Swift Playgrounds is the ability to actually practice writing Swift code through the app. So it lets you run your code and step through it line by line and has detailed messages telling you where you made mistakes if you make mistakes which trust me you'll make lots of mistakes you learn from your mistakes with programming uh you'll get hung over on mistakes for hours but once you're done it's like the most satisfying thing in the world and if you have looping code it can actually help you identify that sounds simple but loops can get complicated when you have a loop within a loop within a loop all right you guys so once you've used swift playgrounds for a little while and you know you got the mindset of programming and you want to learn some basic coding that you can use in the real world there's two great apps i recommend the first app is called mimo which gives you customized programming lessons based on your prior experience and which type of programming you'd like to choose so i definitely recommend starting out with python so once you start, you can take a short five minute lesson every day, and you can take a lot longer than five minutes every day, but you can start with five minutes if you're busy or take more to speed up your learning if you're not busy. And uh, during these lessons, you essentially read and do a little bit of writing code. And these lessons effectively teach you how different functions work in your coding language, as well as the syntax or the way you write the coding language and how that works. So one great thing I love about Mimo is the wide variety of challenges it will give you to write different programs as you progress through your lessons. So these will actually get you writing your own programs. Honestly, before you know it, you'll be writing some basic programs with Mimo after, you know, maybe a month. So another great app I love to learn programming that I've used before is called Solo Learn. So I love this app because like Mimo, it gives you little lessons with quizzes and extra practice to learn concepts and solidify your understanding of programming. But it also offers more than that. It offers community posts where you can learn about different concepts in programming that are slightly more advanced. You can practice writing code on countless different mainstream languages directly in the app. You write the code and run it in the app. And if you're stuck, you can actually search through the discuss page in the app for help or post your own questions if the discuss page isn't helping you out. All right, you guys, so once you've learned, you know, the basics of writing your own code, you want to start to write it and save it and then run it. For this, I'm going to be using and recommending that you use two different apps. The first app, Codex, is an advanced code editor that automatically highlights your code syntax to color code things such as variables and class names. These are things you'll learn about later on. And it lets you write code on multiple tabs and switch between them easily. It lets you choose different themes such as a light and a dark theme. And you can choose a custom tint color. And these are all really useful tools to help you write code a lot more efficiently. It also includes a handy search tool to help you search through a long program that doesn't fit on the screen for when you just can't find a certain line of code that you wrote. You can just tap on the search tool, type what you're looking for, and it'll find it for you. And when you're done, you can easily just save your program to files for easy access later. Next, to run your programs, you can use Decoder. So with Decoder, which is honestly, after I tested a lot of mobile code compilers which essentially compile and run code. I think Decoder is probably one of the best ones. And um, with Decoder, you can create a program in countless languages like Java, HTML, Perl, and many more and run it. And I love editing codecs and then copying and pasting my code into Decoder to run it. 
and Decoder includes support for lots of code libraries, which you can easily access to make your coding a lot easier. Code libraries are essentially just pre-written code that you can access with your own code to achieve better functions, such as telling you how many letters are in, for example, a word. And it also includes an awesome interactive terminal that you can type in and see your output as it runs. You can also visit the feed to test out other people's programs and visit the dev chat to get help with your programming. Now, while these free apps are all great, I highly recommend using additional resources to accelerate your learning. Use sites such as tutorial points to do more studying of individual coding languages. And when you do get stuck, check out Stack Overflow, which is essentially the programmer's Quora for detailed help with your coding projects where you can post your code, describe what's wrong and professional programmers will come to help you. And also be sure to check out a site like Udemy, for example, where you can purchase a video course for a small price and watch video lessons and complete homework to improve your work. Now, while Udemy is my personal favorite, there are lots of other options available. And I know nobody likes homework, but these are just like a school class, except the great thing is they're on your own schedule. All right, you guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video and I 100% am hoping that these suggestions help you out. Remember a little work every day, plus some online research for whatever language you're trying to learn and you'll be writing some pretty basic programs in about a month and in a year's time or less than that if you're diligent with your work, you'll be writing some pretty cool applications for your computer. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day. Bye.